this way. You're already all playing with the spoon just a little bit. I like to do this with every, every group. So as you can see, this is soft and safe. Let me ask you a couple questions. In baseball, how many people in here ever play baseball? Okay, good. Lots. How many have played soccer? How many have played basketball? Okay, how many have played underwater hockey? Anybody can play underwater hockey? The reason why I say that, in any of those sports, do you pass to somebody if, if they're not looking? Why? Right, they won't catch it, or you can walk them with the baseball, walk them with the basketball. Same thing in squid. Even though this is the softest implement in the sports industry, it's, you still don't want to hit somebody. So always be ready to accept the disc if you're, if you're playing offense or defense. Defense can catch and intercept in the air. Offense always has to play off the water. So when you pass to somebody on the water, you have to pass on the water so that your other teammate, the disc has already touched the water when they want to catch it. If, if it hasn't touched the water yet, if you're on offense, you've got to go defense, you just take it the other way. But more importantly, I, I love doing this surgery, so you all look at the very true feel of this, and you can try it yourself. You will not get a bloody nose or a fat lip or anything. We'll let you know right now. But it doesn't feel great to get hit, okay? So always respect your players, pass the people when they're ready. If somebody's guarding the goal, like this, between, um, See, right now you're, you're on defense, you're guarding the goal. If I deliberately try out a frustration, try to shoot through him, and if I hit, if I clip him anywhere between the shoulders, that's an offensive foul on my side. He gets a free shot on my on my goal from the color break, which he'll probably make that, okay? So anytime someone's guarding the goal, you have choices to pass to other people. Or you can sprint and go around it because you can score 360 degrees from the goals. And so if you're coming up on somebody, I recommend like this, come up like just like you would in basketball, come up like this, and notice how high he's got his hands here. See, and I can only score right on the line, right? So to play defense, you want to be down here. But, and so if I'm frustrated, I can't pass. I'm going to go up here and go over, and I may go right under him real quick. So you can get people to raise their hands, or you can pass around, lots of things you can do. Okay, rules. Non-contact sport. You can take, if you're swimming with the disc, or moving with the disc, I can take it on defense. I can take it from you, from the front or the side. But if you turned your back to me, I can't reach around. Just like in basketball, that's reaching in because you're inhibiting their ability to move, right? So if they've turned their back on you, you can't reach in to try to go around to take the disc. You can only take the disc from the front. So if you're on offense and a defender's coming to you, you probably want to reverse position. Make sure there's not someone behind you to take the disc. If there's a double grab, you notice this is the only implement in the sports game market where there's a really good grab handle. Hold on to this one just really tight. And don't let me take it from you. See, you can get into what we call a double grab. And a double grab always goes back to the offensive team, but one color break back. So if you're already in your defensive bay, there's no, no reason to get a good double grab. But if they're down at your goal, you can reset that back, okay? But if it's a clean take within one second, that's a steal. And if there's a there, there's a, a, a struggle going on, it's like in basketball, a jump ball, but it stays with the offensive team. Okay, we talked about uh, fouls. Uh, let's see, Mark, what am I missing? Well, uh, Pardon? Oh, uh, we just play with one disc. We'll play with one disc. We'll play with one disc. Sometimes when it gets really crowded and we've got a lot of little kids, you know, sometimes they kind of want to jump on the disc. So sometimes in the game we'll play double disc.